What's up guys, James from The School Hub, and we're going to do a quick review of a editing software program called Magix Movie Edit Pro. And the one we'll be looking at is actually Magix Movie Edit Pro 2014. Now, for those who are interested in editing software, in my opinion, you have a couple of options. You can go OBS OBS, which is free. You can go to Adobe Premiere, which is the best of the best. The best editing software out there that you can get. A lot of the stuff that I do on the Gaming Heretic is from that software and that costs a ton of money or you have to do a subscription or you can actually do something in between which would be this program. There are multiple pro programs out there like it but when I started doing movie, movie editing or actually video editing this was the program that I started using. It's $49.99 at one price of $49.99 and it really gets the job done for what you're wanting to do. Uh, especially if you're starting out and you don't want to put a ton of money, I would uh, definitely suggest using this software. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to chroma key using this software. Now let's say, for instance, you had a video that you wanted to put up on the Freedom Hub and uh, you were going to be giving away some things on Friday and uh, you needed to get it done fast and you didn't want to use the Adobe software or you weren't good at using the Adobe software. Now I am, but let's just say that we're going back when I wasn't. So I used to use the Movie Edit Pro a lot and what I would do is I would come here, you have your three different uh, two videos and then the sound. The sound is generally a part of the file. So what you'll do is you'll break that off if you want to, and you'll break it off by using that button. So if they had been grouped together, you would just ungroup them. And then you'd come here, you'd go to Effects, you would go to Chroma Key. You'd click on what the file that you wanted to Chroma Key. We would go to Green. And go through it. Now there are some uh, issues I'm seeing along here. If you're taking a look, you can see where the black is coming through. It's a, it's a lot easier to do if you take it off and you just go through here. And the adjustments come when you go through the threshold and the fading range. You gotta make sure to select it, and then you can adjust for what is necessary. And then run through. One of the things about Magix, again, this is, this is the difference between using awesome software and uh, using software that gets the job done. So you see the outline of the green. That was a problem with the lighting. Now I can adjust that in Adobe Premiere, but when it comes to using Magix, it's not really an easy process at all. So it's something that we will, for the most part, ignore. And then we come through here and we put it in. It's really quick, really easy, uh, uh, just a brief overview of how we're going through and, and doing the promo key with Magix. If you want to see more on Magix, how to download it, how to install it, how to use more settings, if this is something that's interesting you and you don't necessarily, um, if, the, if you like the Adobe but you want to see more of something more mainstream, more $49.99, not top of the line then let me know and I'll do more of these. But I thought I'd do something really quick here just to show you how magic works. And you know, just to let you know uh, if there happened to be a video coming out on Friday on the Freedom Hub where you could get a free game, you know, I, if I wanted to do something quick and dirty about that. So, all right, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and we will see you next time on School. How to play to your strengths here on YouTube. That and more in this episode. Is there a proper way to do tags here on YouTube? That and more in today's episode.